Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be giving you guys an exclusive preview of Sorted 3.0 Beta for iOS, which is created and developed by Savage Interactive. Now, if you aren't familiar with Savage Interactive, they are the creators and developers of Sorted 2, which has been on the App Store for quite some time as a universal application, but they are also the developers of Procreate, which is a desktop quality painting and sketching application made exclusively for the iPad. I highly recommend that you guys check that out. I'll leave a link for it in the description below. It'll just redirect you to iTunes on your iOS device or on your computer. So back to Sorted 3.0, which is obviously the main attraction of this video. Now I need to reiterate before I start demoing Sorted 3.0 that this is still in a beta stage. That means that the application that I'm showing you right now isn't necessarily the final product that will be released when it's actually released on the App Store. But that said, this is generally what the product will look like, so let's go ahead and get started with the video and let's launch up Sorted 3.0 Beta. So right here is Sorted 3.0 Beta. It has a beautiful interface, really looks nice on the Retina display of the iPhone 4S or the iPhone 4, basically even the iPod Touch 4G looks really nice, and I'm just gonna give you an overview of everything the application has to offer. It has a lot of options and a lot of gestures. You'll see me using a lot of gestures. I'll try to show you what each gesture does in this application. So we're gonna stop at the top. We're going to start at the top right-hand corner of the device with the plus button. We're gonna add a new list called Apple. We're gonna type in Apple, and then we're gonna hit next to create a new item, and we're gonna say get the new iPad. Type that in and we're going to hit done and then we're also just going to add some other random list um, of just basically typing up whatever I feel like and then we're going to hit Apple when we're done. So let's say we want to create more specific details about get the new iPad. So we tap on get the new iPad and we instantly have a screen or a new menu that swipes down from the top of your screen. It's not quite a swipe from the status bar as that would bring down your notification center, but from the top of the application, you get this menu and you get four tabs, when, alert, highlight, and notes. When allows you to set a specific time of the task of basically when it's due. So we're gonna set it for Friday at 8 a.m. as that's obviously when the iPad comes out and it's when it's released at Apple stores nationwide. We're going to go to alert. And let's say we wanna be alerted, let's do two hours before, but of course you can choose anywhere from five minutes before to two days before. Highlight is really cool if you like to color code your task or you just like to make your task manager look a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and choose red just for purposes of this video. Then over here at notes, we're gonna type a quick, note, a quick note that says, let's say get there early. Obviously that's important if you wanna get your hands on one of these new iPads. Um, obviously there is a lot of demand for this iPad. So we're gonna hit done. And then when we're done, we just swipe back up on the screen and we're brought back to our Apple list. Of course, you can do the same for other functions or other tasks right here, like win, alert, highlight, and notes. So let's swipe back up and then to get back to our main menu, we swipe back up just like so. Let's go ahead and take a look at another list and that's App OS X. That's the one I've created. Right here, you see you have three tasks. Let's say make a video, make another video, and edit video. Let's go ahead and take a look at make video. So we're gonna bring that down and let's say when. Let's, let's say Saturday at, let's say 2.10 p.m. just as a random time. But if you scroll down, you can see that there's a repeat function. So you can set it to every day, every hour, every week, every month, every year. Let's go ahead and do every day. And of course you can choose the same options as with any task, including color coding. So let's say I wanna make all my videos for Apple, sex, and blue. We well, can obviously just type in a quick note. I'm just gonna type in test. So we swipe back up and we're brought back to our App OS X list. Now it's really cool, while you're in a list, you can swipe to the right on specific task. So let's swipe to the right on make video. And as you can see, options appear below make video. I'm gonna let you uh, let the camera focus right here. We have a star and if we tap that, the application automatically is quote unquote flagged or starred. Right here we can mail the task. There is a little bit of a bug right now, so I can't really show you that, but it does look really nice when you put it in an email, I can tell you that. Right here is an X button, but it's different than the delete button. The delete button will delete the task entirely, while the X button will basically remove everything until it just says make video. It will remove, it will remove the time, the repeat, and the star. So if I do that, I tap the X, and as you can see, everything goes away. And then we can just tap anywhere again to get rid of the swipe menu. So let's go back to the main home screen just by swiping up on our device. And you can also see that there are swipe functions for the entire list as a general. So if we swipe to the right on App OS X, we get some options below hand, but they're different from a specific task. Right here's an option to include or not include this specific list in the focus slash overview mode. I'll show you that in just a sec. 
Right here we have an option to email the entire list. This is really great if you're working with friends on a project. Right here we can duplicate the list right here. As you can see, it just duplicated it. And then the last option is to delete it. So I will delete that since I just duplicated it. That sounded weird. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at focus mode. Focus mode basically puts your most important and pressing task in front of you right now. So right now it's get the new iPad. I don't have any other tasks that are before that. And if we go to overview mode, this is this will allow you to see all your tasks across all your different lists on Sorted 3.0 beta. So if you just wanna see your most pressing task, go ahead and check here. And when you check it off, it immediately gives you your next pressing task. Obviously I duplicated it, so I do have get the new iPad twice. So we can go back to overview and we can go back to done. So focus mode is a really neat function of Sorted 3.0 beta. It'll really allow you to focus as the I guess as it's called, on specific tasks that are upcoming. So as you can see, this app does have a lot of gestures to get from specific uh, parts of the application. It works really well, works really fluid. As I said, there are still a couple bugs, but this is a good preview of what's to come in Sorted 3.0 Beta. Now before I end this video, I do wanna show off one last thing that Sorted 3.0 Beta can do that I forgot to include earlier in the video, and that is the ability to rearrange list and task. So if I wanna take App OS X here, I just tap and hold, and I can drag it above Apple, and there you go, it reorders it. Or we can go in a specific list right here, and I can take, get the new iPad, and I can drag it to the bottom of the list, and I can drag this one to the bottom of the list. As you can see, it's just drag and drop, just like on uh, iOS and even Mac OS X. So that's one more feature that I did want to include in this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, guys. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as Apposex. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.